Just as university students sometimes get loans to finance their education and families take out mortgages to purchase homes, governments around the world also borrow to finance their spending needs when the taxes won't cover the cost. The total amount of money that a government owes is called sovereign debt or public debt. A government sells or issues this debt to its citizens or to the rest of the world with the promise to repay it in the future, usually with interest. But just looking at sovereign debt as a sum total in nominal or dollar terms doesn't really give us the whole picture. Let's take a look at two emerging markets to show you what I mean. Poland and Egypt. By the end of 2019, both had sovereign debt of around $265 billion. At first glance, it seems both countries have the same debt burden. But look closer. Poland's economy is about 80% bigger than Egypt's. Thus, that same 265 billion is a much smaller percentage of Poland's economy than it is for Egypt's. On a global scale, sovereign debt ratios have been on a rising trend for some time. We can break down this rise in debt and forecast what it will look like in the future by looking at four main drivers. The first is the primary deficit. This is the amount a government spends on salaries, on goods and services, etc. that is in excess of what it collects in taxes. The second is the interest rate. The higher the rate of this interest, the higher the debt ratio will become. The third, GDP growth rate, affects the GDP part of the debt ratio. A higher GDP growth rate means a lower debt ratio over time and vice versa. The fourth driver is the exchange rate. If a government borrows a significant amount of its debt in a foreign currency like the US dollar, its debt burden can rise if the dollar strengthens against the local currency. If these four factors worsen, then sovereign debt to GDP ratios rise. If they improve, the ratios fall. We can use this framework to forecast debt ratios in the aftermath of the COVID-19 pandemic and the accompanying lockdowns. As you can see, debt to GDP ratios are expected to rise by 20 percentage points in advanced economies and 10 percentage points in emerging markets in 2020, taking them above World War II levels. If we look at emerging markets, all four of our drivers are contributing to this increase. The primary deficit is the biggest contributor, accounting for three-fourths of the debt increase. Learn more about the basic concepts behind sovereign debt in a book I edited with my IMF colleague Alex Piankowski and Harvard professor Kenneth Rogoff.